Now, this wouldn't have happened today had it not been for the hard work and dedication that uh, Sister Freedom and myself perform as a unit. And we're trying to lead by examples because all the great leaders said it. In our unity, that is the greatest strength. Our unity is more powerful than a nuclear bomb. So I want to acknowledge Sister Freedom my Patel. She is also the CEO of True Word, both True Word Education and True Word Productions. I'm Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm a certified school psychologist, doctor of clinical psychology, uh, educator, political scientist, but I'm a Pan-Africanist. All branches to the creator of the black man. Say go for outside the house, they getting pregnant in the house with the mommy and downstairs. In most teenage pregnancy, is nothing more than a girl still looking for her father anyway. But if she can't get him, guess what? Any teenage boy can replace him. You gotta be a benevolent dictator. Here's the issue. Children should never be allowed to make a decision that can ruin their life. Ladies, let me give you an example. It's a snow blizzard in Wilmington. It's 10 inches of snow outside. Your daughter's boyfriend came over to visit. And now the snow is getting up to like two feet. And he says, well, you know, ma'am, I live on the other side of the city. Public transportation ain't running. My mommy and daddy at work. Ain't no cab service in Wilmington. Can I spend a night on the couch? And half of us got here because of the damn couch. <laughs> do you know what you're supposed to do, mama? You're supposed to tell me, tell you what we're going to do as a family. Me, my daughter, and you going to put our boots on, our hopes, hats, and coats, and we're going to walk your ass back home. And then we're going to walk back home. And I bet you he will never, ever forget to leave before the snow gets too deep again. I'm a little upset at us because not only does the school district like to hustle black children, some trifling ass parents like to hustle black children. I want to get an SSI check. Some of y'all got two and three children getting crazy checks for all three. During Reconstruction, black people who were free during the 1880s and 1890s, if you was a revolutionary black in America, you could be diagnosed as insane. Insanity was a diagnosis they gave the revolutionary blacks during Reconstruction and right before the Garvey movement. The reason why your son is beating all the kids up and bullying people and throwing chairs ain't because he conduct disorder, but his father's in jail and you mother don't care enough about him to take him to see his daddy. That's why they acting like this. That it is better that he go to the jail to keep his relationship with his father than to not have the relationship with his father and substitute some street thug for the father figure which is likely to eat him up in jail. I didn't say teach your children to hate white people. That's not who we are as a people. I can fight white supremacy and not hate him. I hate his system. I don't believe in teaching our babies to hate. But the reason I'm against interracial marriage is because of the damn children. See, I do therapy. Y'all don't. You don't hear the stories about the little half black, half white girls who never met their grandmother because she told their mother, don't bring that nigga in my house. You don't hear them stories. You don't hear the stories about the half black, half 
half white boys who never went fishing with his grandpa, but all his other grandsons go with him because he painted with the stain of the African. See, y'all said post racial. That's a damn lie. I got a little black girl right now, beautiful, 14 years old, biracial girl. Never met her grandmother. Her grandmother is Irish. Her mother came to me and cried in therapy. The white woman cried in front of me, y'all. They said, my mother refuses to meet my daughter. She's 14 and said, I can never bring that black child in the house. It ain't about the damn white women. It's about them kids. You know how selfish it is to bring a baby in this world who's half enemy and half family? Half oppressor and half oppressed? Half victim and half victimizer? Half God and half devil? It's gonna be Fred Hampton, Cindy, and Don Luchu Ali. Bobby Seals, A.O. Hodge, when they ship ass, you repeat. We want some true leaders. Come on, say true leaders. Come on, say true leaders. Now y'all say true leaders. Walk this coffee, murk, yeah. Cindy, and Don Luchu Ali. Bobby Seals, A.O. Hodge, when they ship ass, you repeat. Because we're African people. So in African theology, teachings, and philosophies, we deal with a balance. You can't have a man without a OK, all right, <laughs> I say. So yeah, we don't do that. You know, if you have a king, a king is only as strong and sound as his queen. All right, so we're going to give praise to the most high and the most highness. Um, we want to also pay homage and take the time to acknowledge those who've come before us in the way of our ancestors, and we want to go ahead and also acknowledge our elders. So, if I can have the permission from one of the elders in the community to continue on with this venue, I will proceed. I say. So, you know, we do that because in our societies, in 